So conflicts are hard and they're extremely difficult when conflicts happen in our own family with our, our children. That's where King David found himself in today's Psalm. His son Absalom had gained a strong following and was intent on dethroning his dad. David and his household were forced to flee for their lives. Psalm 3. Lord, David prays, how many are my foes? How many rise up against me? Many are saying of me, God will not deliver him. But you, Lord, are a shield around me, my glory, the one who lifts up my head. I call to the Lord, and he answers me from his holy mountain. I lie down and sleep. I will wake up again because the Lord sustains me. I will not fear, though tens, thousands assail me on every side. Arise, Lord, deliver me, my God. Strike all my enemies on the jaw. Break the teeth of the wicked. From the Lord comes deliverance. May your blessings be on your people. Well, you've heard of David versus Goliath, but this is a psalm of David versus his son Absalom. In Israel, they were placing their bets on Absalom. But even as he fled, David trusted in God. I want to say that again. Even as David fled, he trusted in God. He never doubted that God was his shield, his glory, the one who lifts up my head, David says. His confidence was grounded in the promise that God answers our calls for help. Even when David slept, sleeping, when you're um, being pursued, is the most vulnerable time, right? But God protected him. David was totally dependent on God's promises. So to all who are involved in a difficult conflict with a boss, a friend, a neighbor, parent, even a child, David's prayer is for you. Remind God of his promises. Tell him that he alone is your shield and sustainer. You are totally dependent on him. Thank him for his protection when you're most vulnerable. And thank him for lifting up your head when you're discouraged. Turn your fears and your battles over to him. God always delivers on his promises. So, Father, I'm praying for those who are going through a difficult time. This conflict is too heavy. It's too intense. And uh, and we are we are we are uh, folding, buckling under the weight. I pray for that person, Lord, who has a conflict with the child, just like David did in this prayer. And I pray, Lord, that you would remind them that you're on their side. I pray that you would work things out so that conversations can be had, forgiveness can be offered and accepted, and Father, you can be glorified. Lord, be the one who lifts up our heads. When we're discouraged, I pray, Lord, that you would be the one who always encourages us. Only you can encourage our soul. We thank you for who you are, and we thank you for your promises. In Jesus' name, amen.